What's going on guys, 7up07 here, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. Uh, in this video we're going to start right out by zooming to Riverside Chapel. Uh, what we're going to be doing is going and grabbing a couple more recruitable monsters that have been unlocked since uh, we beat up through rank D in the monster arena. You have to actually go unlock the monsters uh, by beating ranks in the monster arena new monsters will unlock it only makes sense uh, but luckily we had already cleared out the majority of the monsters that were available so there's not a whole lot of extra like backtracking to do um, and as of right now I'm really just going to get a couple of the stronger ones or like easier to get ones at the moment and we could go ahead and do rank C, but I'm going to skip it for now because I really just, I want to move on from this, this whole like monster arena thing uh, pretty much as quickly as possible and go ahead and get on with the story because I'm really anxious to do that myself and I'm sure like just watching this, I, you know, everyone else would be too. So first guy is uh, this invisible uh, phantom fencer, I think they're called. This guy is really cool. These are always one of my favorite uh, types of monsters in this game. I just think they're really cool. And uh, this guy is really good to have on your monster team. If I'm not mistaken, he can last all the way up through rank A. I, I may be wrong about that. I know he can at least do C and B. Um, but he's, he's really powerful, has some really strong attacks. So definitely want to get him on our team. In fact, uh, probably going to do a couple of special attacks here just because he can be kind of tricky. And as you see, he does a lot of damage. Even Yengis has some trouble keeping up. So, Alright, get his defense down a little bit. That'll help. And let's see if I can get a couple of heals in before. You'll notice we had that uh, call team option now. So we can definitely make use of that. Uh, probably not for this battle, but it's it's useful to have around. Oh, nice. Okay. So I managed to get him before I needed to heal. Uh, so he actually drops a gold monster coin. So yeah, he is considered to be one of the highest level ones. And yes, we do want to add him. If you just look at his stats, he doesn't look super strong, but he really actually is, so. And I'm going to actually go ahead and see if I can remember how to do this and edit the monster team and pull, like he's in the reserves now, but I'm going to go ahead and pull in capers in exchange for Brickman because he's, he's much better. So that's the current team we're working with, but like I said, I'm not going to do anything else with it right at this moment. Okay, and now we can go ahead and get two other ones for the time being, and that's going to be it for now. Uh, so we'll warp to Swordsman's Labyrinth, and there's another one nearby there we can get. Um, I did forget to mention for getting capers, you do have to, it does have to be nighttime for him to appear. So make sure that if uh, if it's daytime and he's not showing up, you can either wait around or go, you know, zoom to an inn and wait until nightfall. So I think she is over past, I know she's past the swamp area. I think she's actually a fairly decent trek out here. Not too far, though. Okay, so I think she's actually just to the west, sort of, of this mountain range in the forest over there, so we want to head a little bit more west than where we were going. I'll see if we can spot her. I don't think that it matters what time of day it is for her. Okay, I finally found her. This is the area that she's in. I I swear I must have either ran right past her or she's only available in the daytime. But here she is, like, right before the forest. I feel like... Well, I don't know. Honestly, it could go either way. I might not have seen her because I didn't really look that exact direction. 
And what makes it even worse is that she's not that good of a monster. This is just to, to clear things up. Oh my god, best move in the game. She chose a bad target, though. So I didn't realize until I had watched a uh, the uh, Did You Know Gaming with JonTron the other day that that uh, Puff Puff move had been edited in all of the North American versions of this game until this one, but that it had been in all of the Japanese ones, like, for the entire series. I think that it was... I think it started, like, in... maybe not the first one, but in the very early ones. Okay, so we definitely do not want her. We'll just take her monster coin and be on our way. She caused way too much trouble trying to find her. So, uh, last one we're gonna do, I promise, is Warp to Alexandria. Unfortunately, this one also has potential to be a little bit tricky to find, because it can be in a couple of different areas around this area. So, um, we're, we're gonna try to go check it out. Alright, so we're gonna head west from Alexandria and back towards the the gate where Dulmagus came through here very early on in the game through the southern checkpoint and hopefully this monster will be up here and we don't have to go chase him down anywhere else but you know it's always possible I think I can see no that's a rock that's not him he is a really small monster though so it's a fair assumption. Uh, of course. He's not here. Okay, I'm just gonna warp back to Alexandria and go try another location. <clears throat> which could possibly be just north of this guy. We had already fought this guy before. And he can be anywhere up in here. So maybe there's another two locations that it's possible for him to be in. I really hope that he doesn't make us track him down all the way that far. But it's looking very possible. Because he should be out in this field somewhere. I don't see him. Okay, let's try the... Oh, wait, there he is! Oh my god! He's so fast! Come here, you little shit. Oh my god, this guy is ridiculous. Metal slimes are the worst, man. Alright, we got him in the corner. Alright, so seeing as he is a metal slime... I think I got... Oh, I didn't get it yet. I thought I had already gotten uh, the slime... Slat, whatever it's called. Metal Slash. Uh, okay, let's try... The Holy Lance. Yeah, whatever, we'll do multi-thrust. It might not do anything, but... It's worth a shot, I guess. I don't know if Helm Splitter does anything. I know Twin Dragon Lash does, and of course he has Metal Slash, so we're gonna rely pretty heavily on Angelo for this one. Wow, a whopping one damage out of that. I guess every little bit counts. That's the entire point of these guys, is they don't really have a whole lot of HP, so no big deal. Alright, that's not going to work with him. Uh, I guess most of that did okay, but I am going to try Executioner this time, just on the off chance that it works. I really don't know exactly how much HP this guy has. Okay, well that was fairly easy, only like 7 HP or something. Too bad he doesn't give the same amount of experience as uh, some of the other ones, but he does give us a gold monster coin, so that's nice. He had way more than 3 HP. I definitely did like 6 or 7 damage on it, whatever. I guess that's only in the monster arena. Um, I am. I don't really use him, but I'm going to go ahead and take him along just since we have like 3 open spots, or 5 open spots actually. 
So, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for... the uh, recruitable monsters for the time being. So we're actually going to go ahead and move on with the story, believe it or not. Um, so what we want to do, there was really no hint given to us as to where we wanted to go next, but we want to go back to Ascantha to track down our harp for Ishmari so we can finally get our ship. But of course, nothing is going to be easy, so we have plenty of things to do before we can actually get the ship. Uh, but yeah, let's just enter Escantha. So let's go say hey to King Pavan. See how everything is going in Escantha. Should just be able to walk through the front door now. It's such a brighter, happier place than it was the first time around. Um, I believe it's up the stairs. I'm trying to get to the throne room. Probably gonna get myself lost already. Uh, is it one more up? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see you all back at my humble home. I'll never forget that day you brought the vision of my dear Sasha to me. I cannot thank you enough. So, what brings you to my kingdom on this fine and sunny day? Well, got some problems. I see. The Moonshadow Harp is indeed in Ascantha. It has been one of our treasures since ancient times. Why do you have but it? I cannot deny my honored friend's request. It would be my pleasure to give it to you. It is locked securely away in the vault below the castle. Allow me to escort you there. I guess we made the right friends. It seems like a tall order to ask of him, but sweet deal. Has been passed down through many generations of the royal family. Okay. So can I have Here my hand? Oh, it's the key. Oh, that's cool. Where does all the water go? The vault is just below us. Come with me. We'll do, Pavan. Let's do it. Oh my god, that doesn't look like a very good vault. I... I... I don't believe it. How c can this be? Probably has something to do with the giant hole in the wall, if I had to guess. It must be the work of thieves! I will not stand for this! I don't know. Thieves would not be my first guess. It appears that the unthinkable has happened, and the Moon Shadow Harp has been stolen. Fucking, of course it has. The culprits could still be inside this tunnel. It's too dangerous for you to go after them. You mustn't set foot inside. Which means we probably must set foot inside. I will summon the castle guards. They'll get the harp back. You mark my words. Do you really think the castle guards got shit on me? I don't think so. I mean, I appreciate that you have faith in your people like that, but... Okay, so... Let's just go ahead and run through here and directly disobey him. 
seems like the reasonable thing to do. It's really dark in here. Oh, well, that's getting a little better. Okay. Whoa. Okay. To the right. And down through here, I guess. Not much of a choice there. What kind of enemies we got? Oh my god. Useless. Nah, no, we're gonna get a lot of gold out of this fight, it looks like. I am okay with that. Unless they just sap all of our energy. Okay. I think these guys have a lot more. We have seen this enemy before, but I think these guys have a little more HP than the ones that were in Swordsman's Labyrinth. I think that's where they were. This is a bizarre enemy, but can't really complain because they give you hella gold. Sweet level for Angelo. Starting to catch up a little bit. That's a pretty good uh, level up for him, too. A lot of points. Alright, so we're just going to keep putting this into swords. Alright, and he got an attack power upgrade. And those are always my favorite. And 530 gold from that fight. Nice. Alright, and at this... We're just going to go straight across here. I think this is the way out. Uh... Yeah? Maybe. Up through here? I don't think so. No, it's through here. There we go. Okay, so we're back outside, so we did not find the culprits in the tunnel, but maybe we can figure out where they came from. Ooh, first a cow. Moo moo, bitch. And this conveniently placed treasure chest. The monsters in this area are still weak and annoying, but for some reason I still have to fight them, even with holy water. Alright, so we have a seed of life in this treasure chest, just placed randomly in the middle of that clearing. And we're gonna keep heading north. Alright, so I'm just gonna check out the map to see where we are. We are just north of Ascantha, in an area we couldn't get to before this. Uh, and we'll notice there's a little cave up there to the north. It appears to be... Yeah, over this way. And there's clearly another chest over there. I think these guys are new. I don't remember fighting these guys this go around. I also don't remember anything about them. They seem to be fairly low HP. Maybe we just managed to not ever fight them, but they're still the proper monsters for this area. Alright, so Jessica follows shortly behind with her level 20 upgrade. She learns Sizzle. And got four points for her, which we are going to keep putting into whips. No upgrades for her for whips, though. That's unfortunate. But we'll get some really good ones pretty soon. And we already have Twin Dragon Lash, so what else do you really need? Oh, I missed him over there. Alright, well there's the mini metal in the treasure chest, and now I need to go back across because there is one last visible monster. I did lie to you guys, but fortunately it's not really out of our way. Look at him bouncing around. These guys are the best.
It is slightly less cute when he does 24 damage to me, though. He's really taking it. Good for you. Jesus. I kind of expected this just to be a few hits. There we go. Okay. And a copper from him. Thought maybe he might have a silver, but no, he's really not that good. So, yeah, we're not going to keep him. And we can go ahead and move on. And go back to the tunnel. Oh, the cave is down. That's why I seem to be standing on top of it, because I was. Okay, so here is the entrance that we want to go in. Okay, and I was planning on stopping here, but I think that I'm going to go ahead and try to go do this dungeon in just this video, because it's actually a really short dungeon, and uh, it shouldn't take too long. I mean, it'll make this video stretch out a little bit, but it's, it's a pretty short dungeon, so... I can also skip the majority of the battles in this dungeon, which is nice. Because, uh... Most of these enemies we've already seen before, so really no point in wasting the time on battles. Alright, let's head over to the right side, and we'll get the dungeon map from this treasure chest. Not that we really even need one, but it's nice to have. And then we'll head on through this little passageway to the right. Yeah, we're going to breeze right through this one. Alright, we did get a level for the hero. Level 22 now. Not bad. And we're going to put all six of these into swords. Because we're going to keep doing that one until 30. We got Flame Slash. Not a huge deal. Alright, so now let's go ahead and keep moving and head down to the next level. Uh, so we'll come out in this rather large cave, cavern I should say, and I think I want to go, alright, yeah, I think I want to go to the left here, and then... Uh, yeah, a couple of pots over here. Seed of defense and a mini metal in those. Nicely hidden away in the corner. And now we're gonna go down. So the only enemy that's really giving me any sort of issue at all is uh, the peepers. And that's mostly just because of the fact that they can uh, defend and dodge your attacks constantly. Which really is just all the more reason for me not to show fights of them because it just makes them take longer. So we get a nice stone hard hat in the chest here. Alright, and we're just going to ignore this little guy hopping around for right now. Okay, so if we head down around here, we can go down in this little passageway to actually get to level 3. It kind of seemed like when we went down before we might have been on level 3, but it doesn't actually count until now. And this is the final uh, level of the dungeon, which can only mean one thing. Yep, what do we got down here? That would appear to be a giant mole, which can only mean that he is a boss. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, as I like to do, as I like to keep my boss battles in separate videos. So we're going to end it here and then approach him in the next video. I'll see you guys then.